and talk about Facebook having problems and Twitter having problems with a story mm -hmm. that even the New York Post knew was a lie. They know it's a lie. Yeah, well, the new that's where we are in 2020. <laughs> This is just wild. One of the biggest doofuses in media, Joe Scobro, just got utterly humiliated by his own words and it's glorious. By the way, this all happened on X and if you're not on there, I highly recommend it for moments like this. And while you're at it, you might as well give me a follow. So I'm gonna share that clip with you and then dig just a little deeper to show you that Joe Scarborough's not the only one self-owning today. And how those same news outlets are already misleading people about what this story is about. They just can't help themselves. And frankly, it makes me wanna have a little sparring session with them all, Chuck Norris style. Have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? I definitely have. He's one of my all time favorites. Well, yesterday I saw a video that he recently made and I was shocked. He's in his 80s and yet he's still kicking butt, staying active and working out. Honestly, it just makes me feel really bad about my own health. What's even more shocking to me is that in this video, he's talking about how he's stronger, he's working out longer, and he has all this extra energy for his grandkids. As a stay at home dad with four kids, this is something I need in my life. He did this by making one change and he says that he feels like he's in his 50s. His wife started of doing the same thing and she says she's never felt better she says she feels 10 years younger her body looks leaner and she has energy all day again i need this chuck made a special video that explains everything so make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com forward slash drone or by clicking the link below in this video i promise it will change the way you think about your health once again that's chuckdefense.com forward slash drone you can find the link in the description or pinned comment you're not gonna believe how simple this is. Just a reminder, the legendary Chuck Norris is 80 years old and has way more energy than I do. He discovered that he could create dramatic changes in his health by simply focusing on three things that sabotage our bodies as we age. Watch this method by clicking on the link in the description or pinned comment. Thanks a lot. By now, I'm sure that most of you have probably seen that Mark Zuckerberg has now come out and admitted that the Biden administration and FBI pressured him to censor information that was actually true. That's right, the Biden regime and the FBI pressured a private company to violate the First Amendment. You see, it's illegal for the government to do that, so what did they do? They just pressured a private business owner to do it for them. If anything, it's gonna end up being Zuck who gets sued and not the federal government, which might have something to do with his recent conversion. So the COVID stuff is big, but I'm more interested in the fact Zuckerberg admitted that the FBI pressured him to censor the Hunter Biden laptop story. You probably don't know this because the media has frankly covered up the story, but we now know that Joe Biden and Anthony Blinken orchestrated that scheme to coerce former intelligence experts, including CNN's Dana Bash's husband, to lie and say that the story was Russian disinformation. More than 50 former intelligence officials released a statement that the laptop had all the classic earmarks of a Russian information operation. According to a letter released Thursday night from the Republican chairman of the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees, former CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell told congressional investigators the days after the laptop story, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, then a Biden campaign advisor, reached out to Morell and set in motion the events that led to the intelligence officials' public statement. Which gave the media and social media all the justification they needed to censor the story and ban anybody that was talking about it. That all sounds so American and democracy, doesn't it? Oh, no, quite the opposite. What's my point? My point is that everything that the Democrats and the media told us was a total lie. Yeah. Meant to hurt Trump and help Joe Biden. It wasn't a conspiracy theory. We were right again. Here we are in 2020. This is what it's come down to, America. Giuliani is feeding Russian misinformation to Donald Trump and reading, feeding Russian disinformation to the New York Post. They know it's a lie. Yeah, well, the New that's York where we are in 2020. It's the New York just, Post just, to, just to let you know that they're still talking they're to Russians. Themselves. And by the way, Russian hoax, come on. Joining really, seriously, now. history history will expose you all as fools and useful idiots for the Russians. It's the, the, it, the, for four years now, for four years now, there has been a line from Russian agents into the campaign. It's 
unbelievable how how stupid you think Americans are, how stupid you think Americans are for for you can just say Russian hoax. <laughs> Seriously, it's, uh, the idiocy, the sheer idiocy. Okay. You are revealed right now, but you will be revealed throughout history for basically running cover for Russians. Holy shit. Wow, man, Joe. That is freaking embarrassing, dude. Surprising nobody, Joe Scarborough turned out to be the actual conspiracy theorist idiot. Think about it. If Russia's goal was to interfere in our elections, then it turned out to be Joe Scarborough, who was a useful idiot for Russia and spread conspiracy theories that interfered in our elections. So do they look into how two weeks, two and a half weeks before an election, someone decided to use a tabloid to, in all probability, know that they were smearing a major candidate against a president that this tabloid was supporting and whether or not that would fall under a criminal investigation. And like I told you at the beginning, the media is already misleading people about what this story is actually about. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg is making headlines saying that he regrets the social media company giving it a pressure from the Biden administration to censor COVID content during the pandemic. The House defended its approach in a statement saying, quote, when confronted with a deadly pandemic, this administration encouraged responsible actions to protect public health and safety. Isn't there something missing? They don't even bring up the Hunter Biden laptop aspect of the story. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because they played an integral part in the entire cover up. I don't know folks, what do you all think? This is an ongoing pattern. Every time the media gets busted lying about one of these stories, it's always a story that somehow hurts the Republicans and benefits the Democrats. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, maybe not necessarily every day. So keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.